Hey students, so we are going to construct our pinwheel for peace from our Zentangle and our peace image. This is my Banksy flower thrower on the front. I'm counting this a front and the Zentangle as the back. Um, so what you'll need are either a ruler, I'm just using a piece of paper as a guide, the pencil that I gave to you in your kit. This is a straight pin that's also in a Ziploc that's in your kit, a pair of scissors and a Sharpie marker. The first thing you want to do is take a ruler, or in this case, I'm just using a piece of paper, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other. This paper doesn't quite reach, so I'm just going to kind of guesstimate corner to corner and draw the line straight through. Notice I'm using my paper as a ruler or a straight edge. Um, then I want to rotate and basically create an X. So I'm drawing with my Sharpie corner to corner like this. Okay, so now I know the middle of my pinwheel will be where the X meets, and those are my corners. Before I start cutting, I want to grab um, something round. Also, in your, um, in your kit, you should have these little cups. This is um, really uh, for something else later, but we're going to use this as a measuring tool. If I put the cup somewhere on the center, I'm going to draw a line around where the X is, and that's telling me where to stop cutting. I don't want to cut past that tick mark. So I'm going to cut with my scissors from the corner all the way into that tick mark like this. I'll show you. From the corner edge and stop right there. Same thing from the corner edge. I'm just going to go all the way around. using my scissors and there. so you're obviously not cutting all the way to the middle I'm just leaving a diameter about this this size that you have in your kit there this will actually have ink in it in your kit but you don't need the ink so now what I want to do is with my sharpie marker now that it's cut if I lift this a little bit I'm counting this top right corner of uh, this triangle quadrant I'm gonna make a little dot in the top corner not at the very end, maybe about a quarter of an inch in, say about there. Now what I want to do, if I put my finger right in the middle where the X is, I'm going to rotate and do the same thing on all top right corners. So again, the top right corner, about a quarter of an inch in, rotate, top right corner, rotate, top right corner. So again, I have four dots and they're consistently always in the top right corner of each triangle. Now I need my straight pin. I'm gonna pull that out. And in my original demo, I have this dot, and I put a dot in the middle here. I have that dot kissing this dot. When I say kissing, I wanna meet these up. So I'm gonna fold this over so the dot mwah, kisses uh, the middle dot, but I do not want to crease this. You don't want to fold that. You want to keep that nice and round. That's where the air is going to catch. So with my straight pin on the back, and I can actually see that dot through the corner, I'm going to carefully, don't pin yourself, punch that through um, to the other side, and then just hold it there like that. Now I'm going to rotate, take this top right corner here, and mwah, kiss it there. So again, if you can see closely, I'm going to push that pin from the top through the other side. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit like that. So that's underneath there. And then rotate. Do the same thing. This dot's going to go mwah, kiss the middle. Now my pin, I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Let me see if I can get some light there a little bit better. I'm going to push that pin in from underneath. And then the last one, rotate. That dot goes in there, mwah, the dot to dot, and here. Now at this point, I want to get in there, and I want that pin to go through that middle dot. Let me see if you can see. It's a little bit hard to see, but from here, that pin is going through the middle dot out the back side like that. You can see the pin there coming out the back. Okay, so there is my pinwheel construction, but now I need to attach it to a dowel, or in this case, our pencil. So if I lay my pencil flat, and I'm going to hold that. I'm going to carefully push the pin 
I'm going to do this in the camera on the side, but do this on flat on your table so you don't pin yourself. Push the pin through the eraser, but stop it before it starts to come out the other side. I can see it's starting to come out the other side, so I'm going to stop. And voila, there is <laughs> my pinwheel. Now you're going to plant this outside, take a picture of this outside, hopefully blowing in the wind, um, and post that to your rubric.